Okay, so we've talked about SP3 hybridization, SP2 hybridization, and SP hybridization. Now let's consider some other uh, possibilities. So what if we had a molecule like PCL5? And you want to attach five things. So <clears throat> everything that you attach has to be attached by a bond, so you need a hybrid orbital for every atom and lone pair attached. So if you want to attach five things, you need five hybrid orbitals. So what would it be? Would it be sp4? So one s and four p's to make five? And the answer is no, because p orbitals come in sets of three. So there's, you know, phosphorus would be using, so it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3, five valence electrons would be using uh, 3s, 3p orbitals. There's only three of them, so you can't make <coughs> um, sp4, but, so, but you do have to mix five orbitals, so where's the fourth orbital going to come from? Because you only have 1s and 3p orbitals in the third shell. So what's also in the third shell is d orbitals, right? That's why phosphorus can have an expanded octet, octet because it have, has d orbitals as well. So if you want to attach five things you have to mix, mix five orbitals. So take the s, take three p's, and take one of the five d's and mix them so you would have sp3 hybridization. <clears throat> and again, sp3, so 1s, 3ps, 1ds, if you add those uh, exponents up, that gives you five. So you need five orbitals to make to attach five things. And if something like SCL6, if you wanted to attach six things, So to make the octahedral SCL6, so uh, attach six things, need six hybrid orbitals. So what would the hybridization be? So you have to mix six different orbitals. So you always take S and you always take as many P's as you need. So three, and now you need two more orbitals, so you have to take from D. So SP3, D2. Hybridization. So what does SP3D and SP3D2 hybrids look like? Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I'm only going to expect you to be able to sketch or know, only have to know what SP, SP2, and SP3 hybrids look like. Or you might be able to sketch what they look like. For SP3D and SP3D2, you just have to be able to determine what the hybridization is. <clears throat> okay, so a couple more examples. So what about a molecule like this? SOCO2. So what's the hybridization? Of sulfur. First, we could ask what's the hybridization of anything, of oxygen, of chlorine. Uh, so let's do oxygen right quick. So oxygen, so it has <clears throat> one, two, three things attached. So three things. So it would be sp2 hybridized. Or if we did the chlorines, so chlorine's got one, two, three, four things attached, three lone pairs one atom. So it would be four things. So sp3 hybridized. <clears throat> so what about the sulfur? So for sulfur, sulfur hybridization, so you might want to go one, two, um, I don't know, sorry. What's attached to sulfur? Uh, 
Let's attach the sulfur is oxygen, chlorine, chlorine, and lone pair. So you, so you might say four things, SP3. And the answer in this case is no. So there's a little trick, a little something extra that you have to be aware of here. And what that is, is that, so one of these, since it has a double bond, one of those is pi, and one of those bonds is sigma, right? So how are pi bonds formed? <coughs> By side to side overlap of p orbitals, right? So remember when we talked about sp2 and sp3 hybridization, if you want to make a pi bond, you have to have p orbitals on adjacent carbons that can overlap side to side. So if you have to, if you need to make a pi bond, then that means you cannot hybridize all of your p orbitals. You have to leave. So must leave a p orbital unhybridized to make pi bond. But you still have to mix four things <clears throat> because you have to have four hybrids to attach the two chlorines for one the sigma bond to oxygen and for the lone pair. So if you still need four orbitals but you can't use all of your uh, p orbitals then you would have to go S, P, 2, D. So, <clears throat> so you're still mixing four orbitals. To make your four hybrids, <clears throat> and that would be for the th three sigma bonds plus the lone pair. And your third, and your fourth P orbital, or third P orbital, would be used to make your pi bond. <clears throat> okay, and then one final example. So what, a what about a molecule like this? So what's the hybridization of sulfur? <clears throat> so sulfur has one, two, three, four things attached, but it's got one, two pi bonds. So you need two unhybridized p orbitals to make those pi bonds. <clears throat> so, but you still have to mix four orbitals to attach the four oxygens for the four sigma bonds, right? Because you got four sigma bonds. One of those is sigma, one of those is sigma, 